Under this government, uh, we not only began by a record increase uh, in NHS funding over, I think, £33.9 billion, but because of the pandemic, we put another £63 billion into supporting our NHS, specifically, on top of the £140 billion of in year spending. And it's because of this government that in one year alone, Mr. Speaker, there are another 49,000 people working in our NHS. And that, I think, is something that is of massive benefit, not just to patients, but to hard pressed nurses as well. Mr Speaker, my mum was a nurse. My sister was a nurse. My wife works in the NHS. I know what it means to work for the NHS. When I clapped for carers, I meant it. He clapped for carers and he shut the door in their face at the first opportunity. And the more you look at the Prime Minister's decision, the worse it gets. Because it's not just a pay cut, it's a broken promise too. Time and time again, he said that the NHS wouldn't pay the price for this pandemic. Two years ago, he made a promise to the NHS, here in black and white, his document. It commits to a minimum pay rise of 2.1%. It's been budgeted for and now it's being taken away. He shakes his head. His MPs voted for it. So why, after everything the NHS has done for us, is he now breaking promise after promise? Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, he, he voted against the document in, uh, in question, and to, to, to crown the absurdity of it. Uh, of his point. Uh, this, under, this, under this government, we have massively increased funding uh, for our amazing NHS, with the result, as I say, there are 6,500 more doctors uh, this year than there were last year, uh, 18,000 more healthcare uh, workers, and 10,600 more nurses. And we're going to go on, Mr Speaker, and we are going to deliver our promises, I can tell the right honourable gentleman, we are going to go on and we're going to build uh, 40 more hospitals, and we're going to recruit uh, 50,000 more nurses and we're going to get on and deliver on our pledges to the British people and we're going to do that because of our sound management of the economy and the fastest vaccine uh, rollout program of any comparable country uh, which frankly uh, if we'd followed uh, his precepts and his ideas uh, we would certainly not have been able to achieve. He says he voted for it, he did and now he's ripped it up, 2.1% ripped up. And if the Prime Minister won't listen to me, he should listen to what his own Conservative MPs are saying about this, his own side.